do you think of breakup fee in China? If you break up with a girl, you need to pay a fee. It will be higher if the girl is under 25, thin, light skinned, and beautiful. What? Failure to pay affects your credit score. I'd say be serious? careful. Be careful dating. That would be my first thing is like, be sure. Be sure. Uh, yeah, be sure. <laughs> well, okay. Wow, and the article's title, look at the title. Man gave $300,000 breakup fee to X. She left it saying, not enough. Wow, I can't believe, is this real? Okay, let me read this. That's a I have lot a of money. Yeah, and Norman has just gave us a super chat saying, what the F Ooh. is this news? Yeah, what, yeah what, what the F is this news? I agree. Okay, let me actually read a little bit about this. A breakup fee is a form of compensation that some people in China demand for their ex-partners at the end of a long-term relationship. It is based on the idea that one party has invested more time, money, or emotion into the relationship and deserves to be reimbursed for their loss. The amount of the breakup fee may vary depending on factors such as age, um, appearance, are you serious? Income, education, and duration of the relationship. There is no legal basis for breakup fees in China, but some people may resort to blackmail blackmailing or threatening their ex-partners if they refuse to pay. Some may even use online platforms to expose their personal information or damage their credit score. However, some people may also agree to pay a breakup fee voluntarily as a way to ending the relationship peacefully or expressing gratitude as for what i oh yeah well hold on let me read this anyone who's been in a relationship knows no this one i don't want i don't want narrativization just tell me what's <laughs> happening in the 300 so a man in china reportedly left his ex-girlfriend two million yuan uh, yuan in in cash nearly three hundred thousand dollars as breakup fee his former companion though left it all behind in a bar wow because she thought it was not enough chinese she left I'll the money it. in a bar yeah i'll take it i'll i'll date the guy for a few minutes oh, look, the like, how know. did the money survive the police showed up how blown did they, away just, by all of this you just left three hundred thousand dollars just like well i mean if it's not enough wouldn't you take it and ask for more, ask for more. rather than yeah rather that than just leaving mine. it somewhere right. i don't understand this is right. so weird it's like imagine somebody brings you like a you know like a full pizza right and you're like oh that's not enough so you smack it out of their hands and it hits the ground and it's like well now you don't have anything to eat like what, what did that accomplish okay i'm Ugh. actually impressed which i was gonna say this seems like china going crazy china's mm -hmm. laws going crazy but apparently it's not because this is not like in the law this is just people taking it's just people doing it people just doing it and also now i'm actually impressed with china you could leave three hundred thousand dollars in a bar and just leave it there, and it will last long enough for the police to show up and check it out. Like it wouldn't impressive. just like disappear. It wouldn't just disappear like that. It's just like yeah. a bag of cash. Just like leave it there, and people are just not just gonna take it. Yeah. Maybe the credit score is. Maybe the credit score system works. <laughs> no, I'm uh, just kidding. No, 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 no. I think. I think it's. I think. I think pretty much everybody probably understands where we're going to come down on this, which is like, oh yeah, this is terrible. This is really bad in a lot of ways. You can get more if if the if the woman is is under twenty five, thin, light skinned, and beautiful. Meaning, meaning obviously, if you're darker skinned. If you're a little bit older, if you're a little bit larger, if you're a little bit less unattractive to this person, like you're going to get less like that's just really across the board effed up, like just seriously, like gross and weird and, and uncomfortable. And yeah, I would say uh, think about what you're going to do if you're going to date in China, I guess. Uh, I mean, yeah. I don't know. I, I don't I don't have great like dating advice or anything. I'm not a matchmaker. So so I think um, the suitcase reportedly belonged to a young IT professional. Wow, this the, you know, business must be good. He's a young yes, IT yes. Yeah. who was seen 
who was seen in the bar the night before with two women, one of them reportedly his ex-girlfriend. Um, according to the newspaper, uh, bar workers, like this is what I'm impressed by, by the bar workers. Mm -hmm. The bar workers saw the man mm -hmm. leaving abruptly without the suitcase after an argument with the woman, after the argument with the woman. Soon after the woman, two were seen exiting the bar without the suitcase. The, uh, the man came back after a few hours to claim the suitcase. He revealed to the to cops that the cash was requested by his ex-girlfriend as a breakup fee. He added that the woman had asked for 10 million yuan and left the suitcase behind as the amount wasn't enough. The woman reportedly left a message saying she was leaving without the money, which is why the man came back to retrieve the sum. So it, it said... Two million yuan was about three hundred thousand American. She yeah, was asking for five five times more. So literally, like a million and a half dollars, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. what she was asking for. <laughs> yeah. Asking for a million and a half dollars to break up with her. To break up. That's in. That is. That's wow. Crazy. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Why? Why gosh. would you need that much? Why would anybody need that much? Like. I don't know. I, I, and, yeah, I think it's very. I, I, why know. is beauty such a factor? Why is it all a oh. factor? <laughs> why is any of it like? I'm so beautiful. You have to pay me a higher fee to break up with me. I, I think okay. may, yeah, yeah, maybe maybe the arguments go something like this. Like let's say for example, you started dating when you were in your early twenties. Mm -hmm. And now you're in your 30s and you're like, well, I lost the the most beautiful parts of my life with sure. you. I'm not as I'm never going to be as wanted as I was when I was 20. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be harder for me to find a high valued man with high income with when I'm in my 30s compared yeah. to when I was in my 20s. So that's why I given that how given that my potential given look at me I mean look at me my potential was so high and I wasted the best years of my life in you that's why it makes it the price should be higher I just <laughs> I, I tell you this Armin I tell you this and I I mean this is coming from the heart man okay I mm. think I think you would get at least 10 million you on if somebody wanted to break up with you, you're, you're, you're worth it. You're worth <laughs> no. it. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Uh, Lily Pat is saying, <laughs> I will never date a beautiful person again. <laughs> That's smart. Honestly, like financially yeah. speaking, it's smart. <laughs> yeah. Lily Pat is saying, Armin, you're assuming the beautiful person would be a young woman. It seems well, I mean, to be more geared towards women. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, also, I, I mean, I'm just talking about the society's, you know, norms and what people usually assume. You know? mm -hmm. So, yeah. Get my best-selling book, Why There Is No God, for free. Click on the link for it in the description.